My name is Mara Dwini. Uh, I'm from Egypt and uh, I'm now at the end of my PhD at VUB. As you may know, robotics now and uh, in our life situation, I think more rigid. And I think when I think about human interacting with robots, we need them to be more softer. So one of the things I'm doing is how we can have this soft robot to resist the damage, for example. That's the first thing I thought about. And to solve this problem, I looked at nature because Mother Nature already has already come up with these solutions. Like if you look for Animal Kingdom, they have like the Bengalian animal or Arabima or the seashell. All these creatures manage to protect their body. They have a soft body, but they have a trick. They have the soft and hard in, in their structure. So if a predator wants to eat them, they can eat them. And this is a trick I want to say that how I can have the soft and hard in the structure to delay damage, for example, and maintain the toughness of the body. So that's what I did at the first part of my research, how we can design that. And the second part, oh, I think it's interesting about the sensor. If I have a soft uh, robot, how we can sense like change in like strain, pressure, whatever. And I look for the spiders because I think spider, one of the creatures still has many secrets to uh, reveal them. So based on the morphological intelligence the structure, the, how they build the spider web, they build the radials and then go through spirals. And there's a reason for that. So I tried to get the inspiration from them to build the same thing using AI to like come up with new design, like what are the better for that? And that revealed to me that redundancy, even if you imagine an aircraft or any situation, you need, you need redundancy. In case of failure, mechanical failure, software failure, you need redundancy. So in the sensor, we managed to get the redundancy. So I still get the same signals in case of failure. Like Nike or Adidas, when they design a shoe, they design for certain players. And, and of course, one of the things is that you, you add now smartness to the shoe. So if you detect injury early on. So one of the things is how we can have this insole inside the shoe that they can um, delay damage or be more tougher. So that's better. And how I can have this insole soft and hard to be tough and uh, besides this being smart, like adding sensor. But that's one of the use cases.